My name is Reza Pakravo. I'm an explorer and an extreme cyclist. This time, I'll be taking my most extreme journey yet to one of the most hostile environments on Earth, the Amazon. Joining me on my expedition is journalist Pip Stewart. Together, we'll investigate the perils this fragile region faces, and we will uncover the difficult lives of those who call the Amazon their home. Along the way, we will experience the heartbreaking destruction of the Amazon, and we will search for an answer to one question. Is there a solution? I think I have an answer for it. As we head upstream, I ask Chris how the people who have come out of isolation were contacted in the first place. Yeah, they were contacted by loggers. A lot of them died. Half of the tribe died from diseases spread by the loggers. There's no on the ground efforts to really protect this place. After a long boat journey, we finally arrive at Nuevo Eden, home to the Ashenenka, and the last outpost before the reserve of the isolated tribes. The population of this village is small, and their contact with others beyond the jungle is minimal. After a good night's sleep, we feel rejuvenated, ready for what the new day has to offer. So this morning, Medium has offered to paint me in the traditional way with the ashiotti, which is this plant-like root, and inside there are a load of red seeds, which when burst, create this beautiful paint. It's got a double use, as well as looking amazing. It's also a sun cream, so it sort of protects you from the sun. Lots of concentration going through this process quite keen to know what I'm going to look like. Muchas gracias. We take a picky picky upstream with the patrol and then walk into the jungle. We arrive at an old hunting trail. The mission here is to identify any illegal activities near the reserve for isolated tribes. So this is what the uncontacted tribes use to make their houses. So they don't have machetes, so they'll cut this, they'll bend this over these big ones here, and that's their shelter. Hector, the head of the vigilance committee, shows us a trap which an isolated tribe has set up on a trail to avoid being followed. So this is a mahogany tree behind me. Basically, this is what makes this forest really, really precious. And the fact that we just walked to about 20 minutes into the forest and get here and see a mahogany, that shows that actually this effort that these people doing here is paying off. When indigenous people look after the land, 98% of it remains intact. So these guys really at the forefront of protecting the Amazon. We reunite with our bikes for the next stage of our journey. From Pulcalpa, we must cycle into the high jungle before we reach the Andes, and then push on from there all the way to our final destination, the Pacific. This is the final stretch before the mountains. The steady incline and the appalling condition of the road sap our energy. We finally make it to the coast. Our spectacular journey through the Amazon ends here, the Pacific Ocean. I came to the Amazon with one question. What is the solution? Now, coming all the way, went through the entire Amazon, I think, the solution is one thing, sustainable development. When I came to the Amazon, the first thing really hit me was all the environmental destruction. It really, really caught me by surprise. And when we came across that Japanese village, Tomansu, that was the first hint to answer my question. Second, when we saw sustainable cattle ranching, that was another answer to my questions. So the solution is out there. So we just have to reach out to it and make it economically viable for other people. I think you've hit the nail on the head. That's exactly my thinking. And I think the future of the Amazon has to be making a business case out of conservation. It's making sure that tree is worth more alive than dead. It's making sure that gold mining is less valuable than ecotourism or that you know, monocultures are replaced by a more sustainable form of farming that, you know, in, the, in the way that we've seen. And it's a resource for all of us and we still need it for our survival. When people come together and want to make something happen, they can do it. It's just looking at the longer term gain rather than the shorter term gain. It's been a good ride, Pip. It's been a hell of a journey. 
Living this reality has been fascinating because you read about these things, but until you're here, until you feel it, until you feel the magic of this place, it's very hard to explain.